I started with about 20 gnomes and now I've got about three to 400 gnomes plus a lot of other little oddments like worms and toadstools and funny little snails. In the beginning I didn't like gnomes because I thought they belonged out west to me but now I know every little one, I know where every little one lives and it sounds really funny but they've really touched my heart now. People say to me, oh, you're the gnome lady. And I think, please don't call me the gnome lady because it makes me sound like, you know, I'm wacko or something, you know. Then I think, well, there's all these people that know about the house and they say, oh, we love walking past that. It really makes, you know, my heart thump. It really makes me happy. If I hear little kids out the front, I won't go out the front way, I'll go out the back way. Because to, to them, it's a fairy land, and that's why I won't go outside and spoil their fun and what they think lives behind that garden. How Maybe many if... is there? Oh, she's got three or four hundred. She's got a lot. I really feel safe. I mean, I know they're only cement, but their eyes and ears and arms, I know they're not human, I'm not that silly, but it just makes me feel secure. It's like my own little castle where nothing evil or nasty or hurtful or anything that upsets me, it stays out the front door or the back door. When I walk in here with my little dog, it's just him and I and the world doesn't exist. My second husband's been gone 15 years now, that that's when I really started to collect after he'd gone. Whether I was going through a traumatisation because of the divorce or why or because why he left me and things like that, I don't know, but it made me feel happy. So, and I'm over, I'm over him now and they still make me happy, so I mustn't have done it for him. They're so stealable. I know that's not a word, but they are so stealable. I'd say over like a 15 year period, I've had about 200 stolen, maybe more. Yeah, I don't know why people want to take them away from their home. They were born here, raised here, and they live here. As I put on the note, this is where I live, please do not take me. The worst thing that I've, I've had done is that they've just taken them and smashed them on the footpath and that really breaks my heart because I think what low life would just do that for the fun of it if you want to take it take it and give it a good home and love it like I do if one gnome gets stolen I just can't I just can't bear to see that spare earth that bare earth I have to replace it because I just look at that empty space and think where where's he gone where's he gone so if I, at least if I put something there I don't forget him, but I don't see that empty space. Yeah, they're getting really hard to buy now. People are going in for ducks, worms, swans. I think the known pop popularity's gone, where I think it'll be back. Oh, I'd like to pass on how much I've spent on the gnomes over the years. I, I, I don't know. Look, I, I, one, I don't want to know, and one, I don't want to think about it. I just... I. I it would have to be in the absolute thousands, which really is disgusting. And I really don't want to know about it. <laughs> I've had several given to me, and which really, really touches my heart. I've got a I had a little one given to me with a little suitcase, and it said, I've been everywhere looking for a home just like this. Can you please take me and look after me? It just makes me feel so wonderful that it makes other people feel wonderful. I just feel like I've given back to society some happiness that the world's taken away.